So I know a lot of people are really uh, anxious for Joe Biden to declare victory and, and claim that he's won the presidency. But we obviously need to wait until the votes have been tallied to where the states can be officially called to give him the 270 votes in the Electoral College. Once he hits the 270 and the electoral process is complete and he's officially been declared the winner of the election, can he claim the presidency? But I actually think that's a bad idea. I think they should wait even longer. Hear me out on this. Biden has been touting since day one that we need to wait for every single vote to be counted. That the election is not over until we have counted every single vote made by an American citizen, whether it's for him or for Donald Trump. And I honestly think he needs to wait until literally every vote has been counted. Once every state has confirmed that they have no more valid ballots to count, that they are done counting completely, then I think he should come out and officially accept and announce and declare his winning of the election. Now, I know some of you are pulling back on me with this, but listen to why. Think about what that would mean for his legacy as a president going forward. Think about what that would mean. That would mean that he really and truly stuck by the idea that every vote in America counts. For so long, people have felt that their voices aren't heard, that their votes don't count, their votes don't matter. Biden has made this election entirely about making sure every vote is counted so that every vote has a part to play in this election. And he keeps campaigning about being the American president, being a president for both Democrats and Republicans, not picking a side to be on, being a president for everybody. Think about what a great reaching across the aisle moment that would be if he said, hey, I don't care if they declared me the victor. There are still people out there who have voted, people that didn't vote for me whose votes haven't been officially counted yet. Let's wait until every vote has counted. And when every single vote has been counted and I'm still in the lead and I still have enough votes, then we can declare this thing over because at least then every American voice will have been heard. Think about like the tone that would set for his presidency. This is both a character defining moment and an administration defining moment. If he waits until every single vote is counted, then in a hundred years from now, when they're talking about this election in history classes, in classrooms all over America, they're going to mention the fact that in 2020, the reigning winner of the election chose not to accept the final results until every last voice was heard. When it comes time for re-election in 2024, this will come up because the question will be asked, which candidate stands for the idea of a unified America more? Whoever the Republican candidate is or the guy who said no, we will count every vote whether it's for me or the other guy, until this election is officially concluded. We will count every vote. If Joe Biden really wants to be the president of a unified people, then waiting to declare victory, whether the Electoral College says it's official or not, but simply waiting and saying, no, we will count every vote. I want every vote counted. Think about what that would mean. Think about what that would stand for. For the first time, we'd really see somebody who would say, no, I want every single voice heard. He'd be setting an example for campaigns to come in future generations. He would be establishing a, a new wave of enamored, energized voters who really will finally for the first time feel like their vote matters and their voice will be heard and their vote counts to say, hey, you know what? If I cast my vote again, there's a damn good chance that now it'll actually be heard and counted. Look at what voting did in this election. We saw the power of the voice. 
We saw the power of the American voice and how it can change things. Imagine what that could do now that this has been done once before and the new invigoration people will have for voting going forward. No more of this 50, 60% voter turnout. We'll see 70, 80, and if people will suddenly feel like voting matters again. And that's what needs to happen for real change to happen in this country. We can bitch and moan and complain and tweet all we want. God knows I do plenty of it, but at the end of the day, what's gonna matter is what we vote for we do it with movies all the time we vote for the movies we want to see with our dollars so let's vote for the country we want to see with our actual votes and it starts with a Joe Biden presidency where we wait to call the election until after every last single vote has been counted Joe Biden is going to win the presidency it's almost a mathematical impossibility for Trump to take it at this point and I am over the moon about that. But I really want Joe Biden to take this as a learning experience as well and see it as a great opportunity to really be this big figurehead for change and unity, the kind that this country needs now in this pandemic more than we've ever needed anything before.